All right, guys, what's up? It's Wills and the Legman here, and we're going to do a. Uh, it's a bit of a kind of just what we think should happen, or what we hope will happen at the uh, start of the new season after what was a amazing it was, season. It was, it was quite disappointing for the fact that we were promised so much, essentially. <laughs> we didn't get relegated. You make a good point. <laughs> yeah, it was just a bit of a kind of mediocre season for what we were when what we were hoping for so we're just going to have a bit of a chat about what we hope will happen over some FIFA which is playing Forest versus Leicester as you've probably seen uh, so yeah we've got like the squad list um, we've kind of highlighted who we think's good and who yeah so like for the first like first team quality we've kind of got well I'd say Darlow in goal he's been linked to a lot of other teams like with Chelsea and Tottenham but He'll probably stay with us. He'll probably stay because he was not. It's not, it's not as if he's going to get into any of those teams, really, is it? So if he wants first team football, I mean, the most likely thing that would happen is he would go to one of those teams and then just bench. get loaned out to someone like us again, or just get benched. I mean, look at Jack Butland. Yeah, he's yeah, that's, and that's at Stoke. You know what I mean, I mean that's the thing though. The lower teams have better goalkeepers. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to, that's the thing you have to think about. So, or generally, not always, obviously. Then we've also yeah. Then for like defence, we've got Lee High. Uh, we've put, put most of our, quite a lot of we've got first team kind of back five in defence because we? we've got Lehigh Cohen Wilson and Hobbs I think and I think they, oh yeah and Lascelles yeah and I, I think they get into most championship teams yeah I wouldn't suggest playing five at the back but if you've got no I wouldn't I'm just saying that we've got five in my opinion definite like what could play definitely play at the first team yeah 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 so like, I, I like this is kind of a thing that uh I wouldn't be annoyed if any of those players were in the kind of. If I wouldn't be a bit disappointed or anything like. Whereas if something like Harding and Collins are, yeah. you get a bit. There's a bit of kind of nerves about it. The thing is, it does also give the room. Say if we either an injury or say if we did sell the sales. I don't think we would. But I don't think we will. But yeah, because he just signed a new contract, haven't they? In January. Sorry. He's signed a new contract in January. Yeah, you? yeah. Like a few of the youngsters have. So then midfield as well. We've got. Uh, Lansbury, Reed, Vaughan, Patterson. Is that everyone? Well, you got Cohen that could play him. Cohen can play in the field, yeah. But I, I, I do. Th- he's just probably going to stay at first team left back, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. And if like, if, there are a couple of rumours about Lansbury leaving, but I don't, I don't personally think he will. But you never know. Um, but then, even if he does, then I, I don't know. If you're playing like two central midfielders, you've got you, you've got Vaughan and you've got Reed. I know Vaughan's and like to injured. be fair it'll give, it'll give Osborne a bit more of a chance as well yeah I, I quite like I quite like Osborne uh, so yeah I think that they were I think, I think that's a good decent midfield that we are missing in my opinion we are missing a winger They're like a problem. I, mean, I know you could say Patterson's a winger and some might argue Reed's a winger but he's not really so if we are we think we need a really quick winger yeah so we'll move on to like, who we're going to we're going to put in there later I guess and uh up front, the only one we've really highlighted for like strikers is Derbyshire because he has proven that he can score goals. The only question is, a lot of people think that it's just because he wants a new contract and stuff like that. Yeah, right? but then he did like you know like have illness when he first came. He hasn't really been played that much, and you kind of think, well, yeah, you got to give him a chance, really. Otherwise, let him go. Otherwise, you know. But the thing is, it'll be the standard Forest thing where if we let him go, <laughs> yeah, he he'll would. go and score loads of goals somewhere else. But to be honest, if we don't offer him a contract quick enough on decent terms, I reckon he'll just try and sign a con. He'll try and get somewhere closer to where he lives. Like you know, like when he was moved up to kind of towards like older and places like that. Because if he par- if if it's true that he he drives to training every day from Blackburn, <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if he tries to get somewhere. Well, yeah, but Derbyshire, in my opinion, is basically just. A, a, a not as good version of Adam Lafondre, a proper finisher, but he just needs, he's not really suited to that first, that lone striker role, so if we get better players, we might even see even more out of him. Yeah, 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 if we could have some sort of target man that's actually better than like Henderson, then I could... But, yeah, because Henderson could be good enough. Yeah. He just, he doesn't seem like he's, his heart's in it kind of thing, he seems like a bit, he seems quite lazy. He doesn't really do enough, yeah, yeah, because he, he doesn't move around a lot, he doesn't... 
he doesn't even jump headers anymore. He's not even. And he, does, he can't. He's not very good at holding up the ball. So I think he just. He came. He came in this season. Started really well, didn't he? Yeah, it's kind of frustrating when you have someone that tall and good in the air, not really winning headers, and you have like someone like Tuggy. I know yeah. Tuggy's good at jumping, but he's, he's just short and he can get. He's just. Sh- he's just showing that he, in my opinion, that he's just a bit of a thug, really, Henderson. Yeah. And that's the thing that's kind of a bit disappointing. Then we've got uh, the players that essentially are out of contract, and we definitely. Th- think we'll go we're not entirely sure on Derbyshire because he could get a new contract might not but I reckon we should give him a new contract you yeah. do too don't you yeah yeah then we've got right so, so we've got um, I'd say Gillard who will be leaving because he's I haven't really seen any sort of action in the Forest team you've got you think he played like one cup game or something didn't he yeah once or twice that's basically it uh, you've got a Greening he'll become a coaching role full time I would have thought because uh, he's out of contract and he, I, I don't see him I don't see the ha- him going through, like going down one or two leagues to try and. I think he's happy being a coach at Forest. I think that's what he planned at the start of the season, but then we needed him. Yeah, so. I think the the only offer I've heard about, about him was uh, I remember that there was a rumor that uh, York York City offered it offered him a, a for a loan like they wanted a loan deal for him. Oh yeah, I had heard that. Yeah, which you know, but I, it, I think that's fair, it's fair to say that he, he will just stay on as a coach. We're not going to renew him as a contract as a player so yeah then there's uh, Yara who will be going because well you kind of see him as using Forrest as a stepping stone for the World Cup didn't you Just to- yeah I, I really liked Yara when he came in on loan and I liked him at the start of the season but after January he just basically just looked like he didn't just didn't give a shit well yeah it's basically it and you know he, st- he start, in my opinion he started his Forrest career off really well but then he's, he's either he's Trying to, he's just trying not to stress him. You know I mean, just like he's not, he's not trying hard just to keep himself fit for the World Cup or yeah. whatever. But he doesn't, he doesn't care. So, no matter how good he, if he, if he was, if he was, you know, if he was like, uh, like really, really good, we probably, we might keep him. But he's not, he's not that good. So. Well, I kind of see it that he did sign a one-year contract, so it's almost yeah, like yeah, just, just I, I want, I wanted to be at a team where I'd get noticed for the World Cup, but then yeah. I may go somewhere. More suited to my climate, you know, that he's used but, to uh, actually. He, he'll probably want to go to a, a Spanish Spain, team. Yeah, yeah. yeah low level Spanish team. Yeah, we've got Jabor, who we apparently is on. He started, apparently came as a permanent signing, then all of a sudden he was a loan deal. Now we don't know. Yeah. But I think if he's a loan deal, I, either way, I, he's probably going to leave, I reckon. Big wages and not really seeing. I don't know, he doesn't seem happy at Forest, so. I, say, I, I, think, he'll, I think he'll go whatever happens, to be honest. Yeah. He just doesn't, obviously, doesn't want to be here. Tug Gay. He just again. He doesn't get in the first team games. I think he's only had one or two starts, hasn't he? Yeah, he's gone on to balls. It was a bit of an odd one, with the fact that he got a contract, a new contract anyway. Yeah, I think it was just kind of for loyalty, wasn't it? Because I think I think he's what Billy Davis sort. Of, I, I don't know. Billy Davis seemed to like him, which. Well, he works hard, doesn't he? Yeah, I like Tuck Gay, but yeah. he's not. I don't think he's. I don't know if he's worth giving another deal. Then we've got Gomi, who's what? never. He's kind of the forgotten man, isn't he? Yeah, he's been injured a lot. I mean, he's, he's on loan, but yeah, none of our other players are like that. Yeah, that's, yeah, <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah, it'll go back to I think it's Nice, isn't it? Yeah, and then there's Miller that we were looking at on the Forest website. He's not even on there, is he? No, we're, look, we're looking at all the Forest profiles, and he's not there. It's just so, which so. means essentially, well, I don't know because there's there's quite this big thing about Pierce. Oh, he played for Pierce. At, I think Pierce signed him for Man City as a attacking midfielder or something, and so they think automatically that he's gonna. I mean, he's gonna sign up again. Yeah. I don't know. He's proved he can do it at this level. Yeah, I mean, but, but he, he just has too many. He just, I don't know. He, he's he's had a big bust up with Yeovil. He didn't really seem bothered about playing for us. He used to say he's never looked like he can be bothered to play for us, has he? No, I I, I think he, I was quite excited when we first signed him because he he's got the potential to be a quality player. He's just yeah lazy and he's, he's just got too many problems. And I think I to be honest, I don't think any Forest fans will ever get on his side, will they? No. So, and yeah, and that's uh, that's all the. Co- then we've got that would leave us with kind of squad players of what we have uh, of Collins, Mackie, Fox, Blackstock. Whether he's whatever I you know he's got his problem with his injury and his gambling problem or whatever. Eftimoff, Doris DeVries, McLaughlin, Peltier, and Osborne. And then we've got a few that we think will uh, might go Harding because we're probably going to keep Fox. Um, yeah, yeah, and then you've got. Um Halford, he could be a good player. I'd say he's good because he back up for many positions, but he's he, never going to be a first team player. No, and if really. you've got and if you've got Peltier, he's a better version of Halford. Yeah, I quite really. like Peltier. Uh, actually gets stuck in. Yeah, and then you've got like Mieski, who 
I, I, he's, he's really not consistent enough. He has some amazing games and then he's just not good enough most of the time. Um, you've got Cox, hasn't proven himself. One of the most frustrating players. <laughs> just doesn't seem bothered. He, he, yeah, he's, he's got a habit. He's got some amazing ability to make it look like he's working hard. Do you know what I mean? Like when someone's on the ball and he's about, he'll, he'll be kind of strolling around. Then he'll just run up to them and do like this kind of really pathetic jump. Have you noticed it? And he's never ever going to try and get in the way of the ball, but he just does that, and it's really annoying. And then we've got like Abdul, we reckon he'll go with Jabor. Yeah, he's got he's got big wages, so I'd let him go because we need. He's not the kind of winger we need. We need someone with pace, really, rather than. Yeah, that's the main thing. We just have no pace in the team. <laughs> yeah. Apart from Patterson's a bit quick and Darbyshire's a little bit quick, but none of them are proper like. You know what I mean? None of these are quicker than like as quick as like Lloyd Dyer from Leicester, who's one we're looking at if he'll ever move. Um, then yeah, Henderson. Henderson's one we could keep, but I just don't. I I, I can't see him staying because I don't, I don't. I don't think he'll be just happy being on the bench, especially if we buy a new striker. Yeah, because he's definitely not going to get in the team if we buy you know I mean, another either target man or well any striker really. Well, no, he just doesn't seem to put the and he doesn't put a shift thing. in which. It's not as if Pierce would be very happy about that. No, yeah. So we've gone through about 34 players, I think, and the way we've gone down to it, it'll cut it down to about 21 yeah, ish. Right. And then that gives us the room to bring in about five, hopefully about five or six quality players. Yeah. So, so, so I think the defence is pretty decent. So, yeah, we'd say, but we're kind of looking at getting Peltier in because. He, he really does seem committed to Forest. He, I really like that. He, he seems he's, he's one of those players who's obviously going to be co- committed to what to what the club he's got goes at, which is more than you can say for Halfu. Because a lot of people say that oh he puts a shift in wherever he goes, but sometimes he does that. But sometimes he looks like he, he really really he's got really really bad body language. Yeah, he's like Magugan. I think his kind of issue is that he's playing so many positions. That he yeah, that's his that's the problem. He needs to be given at, one position yeah, and play it. Yeah, and get good at it. But yeah, I like. I, I'd say I think we'll either keep Peltier or Halford, hopefully. But yeah, then otherwise our defence is pretty strong, we'd say. Um, but then you have got the midfielders, where the the only defensive midfielder we've already got is Vaughan, and because Pel- you say it seems that we're trying to think Peltier could maybe play that role as well. Yeah, uh, yeah. The only issue is that Vaughan is quite injury prone, so yeah, we kind yeah. of would want someone that could definitely play. In that position, and if we wanted to play, let's say, two holding midfielders that we did a lot under Davis, which I'm not too pleased about because it's a bit negative, but you know, if you, yeah, it, it's an option, so it's, uh, yeah, uh, you know, what I mean, if, if it, we, when it I wasn't as bothered when it was winning games, but well, we yeah. do need to, like, you know, we when, we, have that when we play like when we play Derbyshire up front and, and Cox on front, up front on their own, it was beyond frustrating to watch. Well, yeah, so then we were looking at, say, Ledbitter that we've been linked with a lot, you've got Craig Gardner that we've already been linked with this He's summer, out, Craig Gardner's out of. Contract, yeah. As well, and I think then, he might end up with a Premier League club, but we'll see. And then maybe Guardiola, because I mean Guardiola, well, he's obviously played for us before, but and he's not really getting a look no, in at Palace. Never, he'd never ever come to Forest. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'd be happy with Guardiola. A lot of people, to be honest, you know, in this, this, this the time where apparently he was, oh, he was being way too, he just wasn't being good enough. But I mean, yeah, he was quite careless and he's a bit flamboyant for that kind of role. You know, he's got loads of flair. But he was still playing well in that role. He was still doing like putting in a lot of strong tackles, a lot better than the likes of Greening. Oh yeah. That lot. I mean, well, I, compared I, to Greening, wow. Greening's crap tackler. Yeah. <laughs> good, pa- good retaining possession, but no. And, and then we kind of looked at wingers just because we wanted a lot of pace down that right, really. So we're looking at like the Wild Noir. Buckley and Lloyd Dyer who are all out of contract at the end of the season uh, Dyer might be on big wages that's the only thing and also I think about. Dyer he probably will be signed up by Leicester because a lot of Leicester players are out of contract but yeah I, I'd like Dyer he's a good player and then but, there's um, Junior Stanislas and uh, Michael Antonio Stanislas right. is a bit of a just one we know who's really quick and I, when I've seen him when, he, when I watched him play versus Forest last season he was really good he's never really had a look in at Burnley this season so that'd be so it, it, that means that either it's a bit of a funny one isn't it? it's like He's either not good enough, yeah. or <laughs> or he's just not. Or it might be a, that he can we can get him in. And Antonio, Antonio's a good player, quick, strong. And he probably is look. He could be looking for a bigger, a, 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 like a higher club rather than like Sheffield Wednesday. Though. And he always le- he's, he leads the counter attack well from when I've seen him play against Wednesday. That's the key thing. We never ever score counter attacks. No. So I'd, I'd be happy if we had two defensive midfielders as long as we had the pace on the counter attack. Yeah, it'd be all right. Okay, and so then strikers. Chris Wood's out of contract, so again, if, if he's not signed up by Leicester, good target, him in, man. good target man. 
Just he's really good at doing like the donkey work and stuff like that. And he's a decent. He's actually, from what I've seen, he's a decent finisher. And he scored that great goal where uh, basically just like the goalkeeper like, kicked it in at his face and it was still went in. So that's Wonderful. what we should sign him up based Wonderful. on. Wonderful. Yeah, Chris O'Grady. He's that's, also a target man. He's yeah. He, that, I'd only really sign a target man if we we're going to play two or three up front because. Well, I would play two up front, but yeah. I mean, Chris O'Grady's also. He can move a bit, which is quite nice. He's actually quite. Yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a mobile, mobile target man like Henderson. He's got like 13 goals this season, which is 15, good. For, I think. 15, oh. oh, that's good for a target man. Maybe. Yeah. So. Yeah, we've always so been him alongside Derbyshire could be a good option if we sign him up. Yeah, they've got other ones like Cat Fraser Campbell. Maybe we be looking at Campbell, Wilson, and Asamba Longa just for the fact that they're quick. We need a, we could do it with a quick striker. And we've already been linked with Asamba Longa and Wilson just because apparently Pierce has been looking at them. But uh, Fraser Campbell might be a bit out of our price range, maybe. But we could look at loan. He has played at the Championship before and he's done well there, so yeah, it's possible. And we also include New- include Nugent, but. Uh, I don't know, well, I, don't know I don't think he's good enough for the Premier League it depends whether Leicester do obviously not me so those are uh, that that's basically all the players we could bring in we're thinking of and along with players we think will be leaving yeah I think that's quite a long but good summary of what we were going what we think <laughs> yeah so here's a few pictures of um, the formations and the new players that we want to try out there's a 4-3-3 four, one, two, one, two, and yeah, kind of a, a weird one with three in the back. Um, yeah, so three, five, two. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>